find out what the White House had to say recently regarding the eviction moratorium. We're going to talk a lot about housing in this video. How landlords hope to work with tenants and some good news from one of you guys that reached out and told me that your landlords got money and also the renters were taken care of. Renters also, the government is providing rental assistance stimulus for you guys as well. And the great news of how utilities and rental assistance is still available to Americans like $46 billion. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. Here's your eviction moratorium housing stimulus and real estate infrastructure stimulus and rental protection update. My goal in these videos is to give you the best access to government and private money for your self loved ones and your business. So stay tuned to the channel for personal finance videos, real estate, crypto, credit, and investments to generate your income, save you loads of money. So stay tuned. Also, you could win $2,000. All you got to do is subscribe, like, and comment. Subscribe to the channel so you get great videos. Hit the bell notification if you want to be notified. Smash the like button, it really helps out. And when you comment, when we hit 200,000 subscribers, I'm launching $2,000 to somebody in the comments. So make sure you do that so you don't miss out on it. Also, check out my real estate program, a $10,000 course. It has 36 videos, resource lists, at when to buy, how to buy, market cycles, how to get the cheapest money, even 2.86%. And it's only $99. It is a steal. 36 videos, almost 10 hours. You have it for life and you could reference it whenever you need it. It's amazing. I spent $42, $45 million learning all the mistakes so you don't have to. You pay through PayPal so you're totally safe. And check out Grab Two Stocks with Weeble down below. Two free stocks valued up to 2300 bucks. Thanks to all my Patreons, which we had a bunch of people sign up for a Patreon. Thank you so much. For as little as $3, you support the channel. Five articles a week as well as a look under the hood of my investments. So thank you guys, my patrons that also have special access. We, we talk, you know, back and forth. But first, the White House Press Secretary Jen Penske made some very interesting comments recently praising the extension to the eviction moratorium that is going until October. She explained the administration believes that the CDC new moratorium is proper use of its lawful authority to protect the public health. We are pleased that the district court left the memorandum in place, though we are aware that further proceedings in the case are likely. Yes, the first one they ruled was not legal. Um, so, but they kept it in place because there's $46 billion to get out to people. She also said the president continues to call on state and local election officials and judges to issue local eviction moratoriums for more aggressive, so they can be more aggressive about distributing the 46.5 billion in emergency rental assistance funds that are available to help protect people, keep people in their homes, and landlords shouldn't miss out on this money because it's available. Make sure you guys work together. I'm gonna to talk to you about that towards uh, the end of this video. Penske also stated the president calls on landlords to seek out rental assistance and not evict tenants from their homes. So just because there's a moratorium doesn't mean you're out the money. Make sure you go get your dough. This is great news for millions of Americans and hopefully you can use these vital eviction moratorium to sure up your living, housing, and rental situation, whatever it is. Meanwhile, a recent article from Business Insider looked at how landlords can work with tenants and the, the tenants can also work with the landlords. Both parties in the Rental Assistance Disaster Relief Fund, Julio um, Gonzalez, CEO and founder of Engineering Tax Services explained, as a landlord, you can't pay bills. It affects your credit. You're losing property and now you're going to lose everything, right? He also stated, there are ways that the U.S. government can alleviate this or at least ease some of the frustration that comes with it. First, first, there needs to be a program in place to help not only those being evicted, but also the landlords. The government should give landlords a moratorium on bank loans, taxes, and utilities, which they missed that one. They went, oh, well, they, landlords and tenants should just be able to figure it out, which hopefully you guys are. He also explained that landlords and tenants or renters should work together with banks and lenders so that all parties are on the same page. What do you think about the rental forgiveness and 
affects the uh, eviction protection for both renters and landlords. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Like I said, I had somebody who reached out that was in the comments that I talked to personally. They said the, the funds hit their bank account from the rental. It was amazing. They went through it. They got all the whatever 18 months and they were taken care of. And now they're in great shape back on the same page in good graces with their tenant. Tenants happy, the landlord's happy, and it, they're moving on. Beautiful home too, fi lots of homes actually. Finally, in the great state of North Dakota, utility and rental assistance is still available to some renters affected by the pandemic. The North Dakota Department of Human Services announced that, that this week that in addition to helping citizens with rent, the ND Rental Help Program can now also help qualified renters pay past due utility bills. This is fabulous. Payments will be made directly to utility vendors and qualified utility, um, including electric, natural gas, and other heating services, water, sewage, and garbage services, which kind of covers almost all of it, right? This is incredible news from all uh, my viewers in the Peace Garden State, and hopefully similar rental assistance programs and utility disaster relief funds can be available in your neck of the woods. Remember, reach out to your state to find out if these programs are in your state because almost every state, county, and even city have different programs and different money to issue to people to help them out. At least go to the website in your area. I can't cover all 50 states and every territory, all five territories, that are actually getting relief from the American Family uh, Rescue Plan. So make sure that you go and stay diligent and check it out. We try and cover it here. I also invite you to please leave a comment if you hear a program in your neck of the woods that we can put there because we've got to get this information to people before the money is gone most of the time. And I try and get it out as quick as possible, whether that's local grants, city grants, state grants that can help you get the money to be able to um, you know, sustain what we're going through. Obviously, we cover the PPP and EIDL and grants uh, for businesses to make sure they're doing. And it's important that we also take a look at 46 billion of rental assistance that's been so slow to get out. You wanna make sure that you get the money that you deserve. If you're a landlord, reach out to your tenant. If you're a tenant, reach out to the landlord. You know, the relationship may be strained due to all the situation and the fact that whatever their opinions are, the bottom line is people need a place to live and mortgages need to be paid and taxes need to be paid. The money is there. Um, hopefully this doesn't come too late where you've already gotten to a position where you're having a problem with your property or a tenant and a landlord can no longer communicate. That's like the worst. Keep the communication positive. I'd have to say that's the main thing. From the friends that have reached out, now friends um, that have several properties, they were able to work with their tenants, all their tenants, and actually got money I saw land in their account. I actually saw it hit their accounts. They were completely surprised that they were able, it was able to make it to their account, um, given the fact that they had to go through the process. But at the end of the process, the landlord got the money. I've seen it myself. Even though it's been slow to get out there, it is getting out there and make sure you get on the same page. I hope this finds you well. Love you. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care of yourself. There are women that go to the barbershop and there are guys that go to the hair salon. So if I'm a guy and want to come here, would yes. you include me? How would I look with dreads? Uh, Not so much. Uh, nah. Who does this? Who are, are you okay?